AC dropping shield, yeah. and then that just led to uh, him getting the stock there. Very tricky stuff from a character that doesn't have like crazy amounts of options. I, I just that that was really really cool and creative. That's how you use them, man. That's why Tanner has been able to go so far with his character, but uh, one upset into another potential one. He's gonna have to work really hard here. Charlie is the one that did uh, send Terry into lose bracket with his Bayonetta. So uh, let's see if Terry or if he has like a loser bracket run juice going on. Def oh, yo, okay, I, got I the double jump? Jeez. I was gonna say, like, he's definitely going on a, a rampage here, but that dare <laughs> to catch uh, Charlie out of wish twist? Like, Charlie could get Bay out of wish twist? Can't say I've seen that one. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> I, that's definitely my first time seeing this. Oh, Tater looking really hot right here. Sorry, yeah, though. Tater actually says he doesn't mind this matchup. It doesn't mean he necessarily beats every Bayo he plays, but he said he, for the most part, he doesn't think it's too bad. Oh yeah, now wait, Mario is super clean. Like just all this coming from a bash with punch from down there. Tater Nader just, mm. he's just looking so much more comfortable, like and smooth than the previous set. But oh, wow, hey. he was not. Uh, yeah, uh, I want to say like, he drifted super low there. He would have made it back. Like, yeah, Charlie did not need to go that low. Like, I know it sounds crazy since he's playing Bayo, but uh, he actually went too low. Dang. He couldn't come back. There's, there is such thing. Before, like, there is such time. thing as Bayo going too low. You say? Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna say like the forced SD thing. Oh no, no, like, <laughs> dude. I have to. Like, I feel like you're always trying to reference. No, no, that, I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna do Charlie like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so uh, okay, Charlie's going right back with the Bayo, honestly. I mean, just really good Gimp and then an unfortunate SD. So I definitely wouldn't count Charlie out just yet. I mean, this is the man that sent Tater to lose his bracket. Oh, yeah, and he actually had really insane edge guards on Tater Nader. So let's see if he's able to replicate that uh, in this match here. Both of these guys weaving around each other. There's the up throw to get something started here. Double up air. Yeah. like Fox. Oh, well, it should up. be it. Oh man! Take once him you get up and didn't let him come back down. Once you get uh, that witch twist two, it's really hard to get out. Um, especially if you're in the bubble, it's really hard to tell which way Bayo's facing as well. Oh yeah. dang, Charlie! I don't see those that much. Uh, only time I All right, we saw this earlier. Oh. This is exactly the same situation. That's, this time, that's though, just Tater like Sonic, Nader. dude. <laughs> yeah, that's it's, it's funny because Tater hates it when people compare uh, oh, yeah, Junior to it. Sonic. It's but like, like that exact situation <laughs> happens to Sonic. <laughs> yeah, they like they spin dash gets switch time and they just match air dodge. Yeah, 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 the jump air dodge. Ooh, get nice. off me! What are you trying to hit right now? I got the hammer online. Oh, nice. oh another Ooh. switch time on the platform as well. Not gonna does kill, he charge but. it? Did he, I definitely think he could have charged it there that's, and took the stock. Slight charge might have been all it took. Ooh, oh, oh, first hit up there. Okay. Sick though. Ooh, doesn't connect the uh, follow up there. Tater spinning out, getting some good damage. I love that oh, pummel. Wow. Best yeah, pummel in the game. That's actually so. Like, pummel and more, Tater. <laughs> Best pummel in the game. The animation, the sound effect, like it's too good. It's the little things. Here. It's the only time Junior busts out the rubber hammer. I mean, you you know this character's BM when like <laughs> he ha he clearly has a metal hammer, but he busts out the the rubber one to pummel you. Ward throw should do it here, yeah. Yeah, at the ledge. 10%. I believe he got it from a dash grab too, just so you'd be further. Like, yeah, controls. yeah. When when Bayo gets you with the dash grab, particularly right by the ledge, she, like your character is like off the stage. So that little extra character link will it make actually, a big difference. It actually it's matters. huge, yeah. Okay. Charlie answering right back with the two stock there. Tay Nader. Game three. All right, okay. Lila. Right? All right. Awesome. I mean, most people. I mean, this is a great Bayonetta stage, but, I mean, it doesn't mean you can't take Bayo here. Yeah, I actually think, like, uh, I've been seeing more, like, zoning characters, or characters that have, like, the deck that can go full screen. I actually do really well against Bayo on this stage because uh, they want to use it to, like, abuse the bullets, but if, like, their projectile can, like, negate that, it actually can, uh, I don't know, it makes you have to worry about that option too much. Really good SDI, gonna pop out there. But Charlie got the single hit, which was not able to connect. But. Okay, oh, lucky dang. container, you missed pretty much everything there after the <laughs> time. That yep. could have been really bad. Oh. I like the idea of the container. Oh, oh you see the SDI down. 
That that was actually nice because he he made it so even if he did get up air, he's so like far down from the SDI that he's gonna kill him. Really, uh, really oh. looking for Taya to try SDI as much as he can just because his character model is so big. And Charlie not pulling the trigger on that wish list number two there. He had him in a pretty good position, but can be pretty hard to react in those situations. Tater surviving right now with the edge guard, which Swiss. Yeah, this time when he's going low, he has a lot of hitboxes thrown out there, but able to snap just in time. Three. Oh, we out here. But Bayonetta saving the jump. We out Still here. the hammer swing, though. Man, Tater is like ruthless. Can we talk about Tater's edge guarding bail? Yeah. Oh, no big deal, guys. No big deal. Just caught the ledge <laughs> Yeah, he has no fear. <laughs> Look at this guy go. Hey, another pet peeve that Tater uh, has, I've know? talked to him. Oh, okay, yeah. So Tater really dislikes it when people say that Bowser Jr. has a bad recovery. He actually thinks Bowser Jr.'s recovery is like incredibly good. I mean, it goes a pretty good vertical. It's just, I like, got, uh, only thing I know that's just inherently bad about it is when you do a low enough percent move to get him out of the Yeah, you, you don't get the ship back. Yeah. That's one of the most terrible things. But, Oh, okay, still able to catch the air dodge here. Double witch switch to catch the SDI up. No. Charlie almost getting at that early stock here, but here comes Tater. Oh, that was actually really good for Charlie to do a fair uh, witch switch there. Oh. But uh, yeah, I like that he's doing these fair uh, witch switch to mm -hmm. catch. To go over the Mega Cube on the ground and then yeah, really, really punch the back of it. You can start his combos that way. Shooting him up. Ooh, and that's going to be it, yeah. Wow. That is going that to be really it. Good. Side B into the up B hammer. Again, really, really strong setup coming out from Tatanator, Bowser Jr. Uh, one of Bowser Jr.'s main kill setups there. Yeah, and uh, Bayonetta is pretty light, too. So yeah, and she's like super good combo weight. So it's going to work on her for a very, very long yeah, time. Exactly. Dang. Tatanator is up 2-1 on Charlie here. Tater has been getting uh, a lot of really good uh, runs at local tournaments, man. Like, win on AC and potentially a win on uh, Charlie's Bale that's in the loser. Looking really good for, you know, uh, first match of the, of the new PR. Yeah. Very, very crisp start here for Tater Nader. Oh, Ooh, I like the adjustment. Yeah. Yeah, good for Charlie's, damage. Yeah, Charlie's really good at getting these extensions, like seeing where they're be eyeing and still like saving that jump. Ooh, he got stage spike there, but the uh, the hold of the neutral air actually saved Tater Nader. Oh, the combo hog but Oh, Mech Koopa, no revenge there for the Mech Koopa. Yeah, Charlie's just trying to just stay as aware of the oh, Mech yeah. Koopa as best he can. Double yeah. single hit with this. So, uh, <laughs> that in, that has very little counterplay. Uh, yeah. if, if you get double single hit with this, it's, uh, it's pretty hard to counterplay that. Because there's no there's no SDI. Uh -oh. Yeah, single hit wish twist is what makes it uh, like her follow up from that is pretty much guaranteed. Yeah. Okay, Charlie. Charlie he's going on the attack. I love the uh, empty hop into the down so to continue so. He almost got the reset too. Thank you, Koopa. Yep. Okay, nice. Man, I, that setup is so clean. And Tater Nier is putting out so much pressure too because he's like throwing out smash attacks as well. Oh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right, all right. I see you, Charlie. I see yeah. you. That was nice. Char Charlie also got that in their first set where yeah. um, it was an up smash, but like he tried to air dodge from his side B being which time. Uh -huh. And Charlie literally just stood under him and just kept mashing up till, up till, up till, up till, <laughs> until the, like he just was gone with the witch time. He just got by up tilt, up air. Like he's just waiting out. Um, Spamming is the right option. Honestly, that, it is in that situation. I will say this. Charlie's really good at pressing buttons. Oh, yeah. Definitely not like an insult or anything, because this de this game's all about pressing buttons. So if you're good at pressing buttons, then yeah, you're probably, probably just really, really good at, at this game. game. <laughs> and with a lot of characters, that, especially characters that are combo-oriented. Yeah, yeah. Charlie definitely likes his combo characters. We got the. I think it was a real treat to see some of the Luigi in the earlier yeah. part of the bracket. We saw um, Luigi. Well, we saw Sheik. Oh, yeah. It's the Sheik suit, man. I mean, I guess the, you know, the punish game of Bayo and like the edge guarding is just so great this matchup, but I would have been surprised to see him try to shoot against Terry. Maybe Terry's also a little bit more experienced in that matchup too. Anyway, right, so game, game five. Number five, man. The revenge set.
this time going to game five, Taylor just showing a lot of just new things that he didn't show in the previous series as Charlie. But Charlie's also been firing back really hard this game. What was the set count in winners? I want to say 2-1 Charlie or maybe 2 one Charlie. Okay. And see, again, we see the SDI down. Charlie going to cash out with the damage, but another Witch Twist to start it off here. Oh, I like he, he tried to reset with the fair one and try to get the ABK up air there. Uh, oh, time not going to work out here. Oh, wow. Such a quick uh, up the out of shield there for Charlie. Nice. Crossed up his shield and gave the spin out just in case Charlie decided to chase the side B to the corner. And back throw. I'm really curious how uh, Terry can use the Mega Coup to his advantage. Uh, he hasn't getting into little setups here and there, but I feel like for the most part, Charlie's been avoiding it. Yeah. Charlie plays around the Koopa really, really well. There's actually a decent amount of juniors in SoCal, and you know if one of them's PR, most of the PR players are gonna have a decent amount of experience with this character. So yeah, they play around the Mecha Koopa really, really well. That's that landing. Oh, the wise. Oh, only 34, but yeah, Charlie, man, he's consistently pretty trader, best spots. Uh, Mecha Koopa in the back there, I believe. Didn't get the stock. Unfortunately, they made it. They don't have to find his. He's opening it for the stock really soon. Charlie just, I feel like he's just looking to leave, but ooh, catch him. Zooming around, but Tater's like, hold oh, this back there, though. Yeah, Charlie kind of got a little bit crazy of the uh, positioning on the ledge, but. Oh, doesn't, he kind of drops it there, but picks it right back up, not able to set up into the wish list there. Yeah, it's always scary when I see Bane has the double up there next to the platforms. Like, before they even start their special, they're already coming to the top, but. Or what, what's the punishment? Yeah. Man, there's nowhere you can go from that.